Hi, I'm Tom. Welcome to the show. It's been a little while since I've done one of these reviews. I got a little bit sidetracked by technical problems. Uh, I'm going to come back and finish my QuakeCon series, but for now, we have had a QuakeLan. Very exciting times, okay? I thought it wasn't going to happen again for quite a while. LAN confirmed. Uh, we're going to watch Zeniku vs. Nosfer here today. Two players I really love, right? Zeniku from Australia. Um, he's putting in the hard yards in Poland. He, his performance has been really good. I hear really good things about his performance at this event. I have not watched this event yet, so I'm keen to see how he does. Uh, and also Nosfer, competing in the, the same US region, right? Nosfer similarly have a lot of love for him. He's from a smaller region, you know, he's punching up into the big dogs of, of NA and EU. And Nosfer's a delightful player to watch. Super aggressive, you know, moves really fast, takes, uh, takes really exciting chances. He's an exciting player to watch. Um, I'm skipping over Exile. I don't know Exile. I'm not going to sit here and subject you to uh, listening to me pretend you to know what I'm talking about. We're going straight on to Awoken. Seneku playing Strog. This is his bread and butter. Uh, Ranger on Nosfer. I I've seen Ranger play Nosfer to great effect a number of times. So, fantastic matchup for this map. You know, it's the medium champion meta. I'm hoping we watch Seneku off the start with the Strog. Uh, you know, I love watching him move around these maps. I love the way he uses the drone to kind of, you know, space things out. He uses it very safely. He doesn't always get big connections, but... It, it's just interesting to watch how he decides to use it. Uh, we gonna... Here we go, here we go. Alright. And yeah, this is the first time I've seen Zeniku play for a little while. I do check on, in on him at uh, QPL every now and then, but a chance to prove himself on, on LAN or in kind of, you know, like an in-person event. It's very exciting. And it looks like we are gonna be with Zen off the start here, Awoken. Uh, I really wanna see, you know, wh what does he decide to do with this movement off the start? Is there anything tricky he can pull off? With this Mega Spawn, probably not. It's just gonna be get Mega, get around to LG, you know, take your guns, be nice and safe. Comes to the armor first, interestingly. You have to be careful about taking a rail here. I mean, wh what I like about this is that he uses the drone, actually waits there for a fraction of a second, gets a sound cue, um, you know, just gets a little bit of information rather than just committing either to the rockets or the OG. He, he gets the OG in the end anyway, able to really safely come around and take this rail. You know, he's looking, listening, maybe Nos was going to peek for something here. Uh, no no time at all between this heavy and this mega. Exchange of rails, uh, Zeniku comes out on top actually hitting his rail and he waits here. This is so important, okay? I love this moment for Zen. Um, because once you take this mega, right, every bit of damage you... Every bit of... I don't... Sorry, I don't know if you can hear the... Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, it sounded like someone was running a whippersnipper outside my door, which is weird because I live on the third floor. Uh, okay, so Zen, he's come out, he's looked for this shot before taking the Mega, because this Mega's only going to take him up, you know, so far, right? It puts him on puts him on 175 HP. So if he'd have gone around that corner and taken 25 damage, he would be on uh, 150 health, right? But because he waited to come back and get the Mega, he ends up on this maximum 175, even if he takes some damage. It's really, really smart, really good play. I don't want to bang on too much about it, you know, it's not like Einstein brain stuff, but it's really simple, it's really hard to do in the moment, uh, and it just increases his efficiency that much, uh, that much more. Again, a nice drone to kind of space out where Nosfer is, he's going to get information from, uh, you know, even after the drone's blown up, just for that little bit of time. Heavy's going to be coming, Zen's in a pretty good spot, if he can dance through this little uh, walkway, he doesn't want to commit all the way out here, right? Nosfer has really strong rockets, it's a scary place to be, Zen, he doesn't get any opening damage, so he just backs away and plays it safe, I respect this. Both players playing really solid here, right? Um, you know, giving each other a lot, this is a dangerous spot for both players to be, Zen walks around into the worst rocket, um, as and, and you know, really, really uh, contesting this small armor here for Nosfer, right? That, that damage Nosfer takes, it should mean he actually picks it up, and yeah, he does, so... Nosfer denies something from Zen, forces Zen to take this route around the map. Now Zen's coming in late towards this heavy, and he's gonna stick his head out, like, right at the last second, right? So, you can see, he didn't have as much time to get the setup he wants, he didn't have time to get there before and look for a bit of damage before, and then, you know, decide what he wants to do, so he plays further back. He comes around and makes this shot, um, again, just basing Nosfer out with this drone, making sure that, uh, he knows where Nosfer is and that Nosfer can't come from a way that, you know, he kind of doesn't want him to without Nosfer having to take damage from the drone. Both items going to be up. Zen hitting some awesome shots here, knocking Nosfer down to nothing. I love this catch. Amazing play. Nosfer was so sure that he was going to hang around over at the red there. Tries to orb his way through. Uh, no such luck. So beautiful opening, uh, you know, again, focusing on Zeniku here, I, I just love watching Zeniku play so much, and look at that handsome face, you know, how, how can you not love him? Um, but Nosfer playing really solid here as well, right, he's, uh, you know, he's staying out of sight, he's got himself the rail, that's gonna uh, mean a lot for playing defensively, right, you know, Zen is only two rails from being back 
on equal footing or even at a bit of a disadvantage here. Nosfa positioned in a slightly awkward spot, right? Like, he, it's good for dealing a bit of damage, but you can kind of get cornered here, potentially. Yeah, Zen actually comes up the bounce pad and Nosfa decides to leave. This is good. Beautiful rocket placement for Nosfa there. Again, we're going to see the fight over the T position. Zen comes around the corner, utilizing that strong movement uh, just to make sure that he gets around pretty safely. Messes up his little jump onto the, the knee-high wall. That's okay. You know, he maybe could have gotten an extra shot in there, but it's fine. He's still getting these items. Uh, heavy armor's going to be in a second. Nosfa, again, positioned just above it, right? And you can see Nosfa keeps coming to the spot. He keeps listening. He keeps waiting for the right moment. This all play is going to be huge. Oh, makes it happen. Uh, and that's the power of the orb, right? Not only do you get the position, you get the damage. And now Nosfa's flung this around so quickly. If he hits another rail, Zen can't get away. But Zen's movement, right? I think that crouch animation there actually did so much to save him. Um, huge confidence there with the direct rocket on the drone. This mega fight... You can see why both players wanted that fight. Nosfa just comes out that tiny little bit ahead. He has the easier fight uh, because Zenoku's coming out that bounce, fat, bounce pad. So I love that Nosfa, right? You know, he hits that one rail and he sees his opportunity and he does something crazy to, to blow the situation open. But again, Zen knows that Nosfa isn't strong, right? After that big fight at Mega, Zen knows that... Uh, he, he can actually assert himself on the map. He gets that heavy, he gets in, Nosfa positioned a, you know, a little bit too forward at that mega, um, just not respecting how much Zeniku had, and Zeniku ties us up. So, you know, y you've got to know how much damage you've done when you die, you've got to know when you take those huge trades, what you can get away with off of the spawn, so that you're not just off the map, and, and Zen does this to great effect here. Absolutely free heavy right now. Nosfa doesn't have the weaponry he needs to contest it. He doesn't want to get in close for a rocket fight with such a huge stack disadvantage. I love this route for Zen. Again, you know, not a, he, he takes the damage, but there's an HP bubble for him on the way to the Mega. It's a really great route. Nosfa positioned well to play defensively. He hears Zen, gets a really clear sound cue of him coming down those stairs. Uh, Zen looking for any opening angle he can. Heavy's going to be coming. Nosfa, he's got to get himself onto this rail eventually, right? Or has he already got it? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he's just playing this back position. He's scared to try and cross the map, and Zen is cutting him off at every corner, using this stroke movement to get to position so quickly. Nosfa finally able to cross to the rail half of the map. Zen looking for a trade, looking for something before this mega yet again, but he can't wait too long because otherwise that heavy's going to come up. So, uh, yeah, again, just really considerate, really thoughtful uh, play for Zeniku to maximize his efficiency here. This control's really dominant. Nosfa's built himself up a good little armor stack. Um, he might get caught at this small armor here. Zen actually dropping away, potentially even a little bit early there. Uh, looking for the exit shot, but it's going to be a tough one to hit. This Mega's going to come. Nosfa in position. And this is the problem with dropping down, right? If Nosfa's able to just sit up there and waste your time, he's going to walk onto that item potentially for free unless you hit a really, really tight rail. Nosfa well positioned to damage this red. I like the movement for Zen there. That's a solid bit of dodge. Nosfa hits a pretty tight angle uh, into that corner, right? Like, Zenoku's movement was solid. Nosfa just hit that much harder. Um, and now again, Nosfa gonna try and cross this map. We're gonna try and uh, damage something towards this mega. Nosfa with the first connection, but there isn't time to capitalize on it before this pickup. Zen hits rail after rail. I don't think he expected Nosfa there, but he just uh, goes with the flow, hits what he needs to. Nosfa gonna go for a shot towards his heavy just to try and stop Zen from getting, you know, too tanked here. And look at this. Nosfa, he's, he's just like thinking about poking his head around that corner and Zen already has his crosshair there ready. Uh, and I love this cat and mouse game, right? Like every time Nosfa's trying to cross the map, it feels like Zen is crouch sliding around to look for an angle just like a fraction of a second behind him. If Nosfa is, is even a little bit slower, Zen's going to catch him and, and have that angle open to hit the shot. But uh, credit to Nosfa for his movement being solid here, right? And oh, Zen self damages to pick up that armor. I love it, right? That's that's when you know someone's so confident in control. This is This is dominant right now. Mega's going to be coming, Nosfa trying to position himself here, Zen can't waste too much time with this drone, but does use it to push Nosfa back even further, comes around this corner again, driving Nosfa back, uh, this pickup, surely going to be free for Zen here, and it's so many free items in the last, you know, three or four minutes. Nosfa 
Nos was in a good spot here to make it harder for Zen to drop down. Uses that orb again, Zen has to doubt himself. Um, the damage is solid. Oh, beautiful exit rail there. If he doesn't hit that exit rail, it looks pretty dicey, I think. Now Zen actually playing on the back foot in an awkward position. He's going to get pressured. Excellent catch from Nosfer. Knew he was dropping down for that item uh, and, and took his chance, right? Right before that Mega as well. So Nosfer stacks back up. He's going to be pretty fearless towards this heavy, I think. Uh, swaps to the rail. You know, he, he knows that Zen didn't have too much there, right? I guess Zen did have a decent bit of armor. And there was a fair while before that heavy. I feel like if Nosfer comes around that corner with the OG out, you can uh, you can stop that happening. But the rail, the missed rail, gives Zen all the space he needs to pick out that item. And and this is a fairly critical time for this to happen, right? Nosfer did a lot, you know, he did the hard yards to flip things around. And then suddenly, with a minute to go on the map, Zen flips things around fairly, I don't want to say effortlessly, but, uh, you know, it, it wasn't as hard as it should have been for him. Zen comes in here for the fight. Nosfer, huge connection, but uh, the damage is going to hurt Zen more because Zen can back away into this heavy, and Nosfer, he doesn't even have his small armor here. Oh, there it is. Um, Mega's going to come. Nosfer at a huge disadvantage, right? He wants to hit a rail before this Mega, but there's no time. Having to play this lower position, having to, to look and just hope for something. Again, Zeniku dominating the top of the map. We're watching Nosfer play, you know, his favorite little corner. <laughs> no, I think his favorite little corner has to be the one uh, above heavy. The drone through the gap is is just so delightful to watch. Amazing control. Uh, Nosfer, I do like how effortless, uh, effortlessly he's swatting these drones out of the sky. You know, you, you can tell he's just calm, he's collected, he's confident. You can see on his face. You can see on his face. Zen again looking for something to happen before this mega... Uh, and making sure he leaves himself enough time to get over to heavy. It's smart, right? It's simple. It's smart. But if I tried to do it, uh, you know, I I would have I would miss something in the in the calculation, and I would do it at the wrong time, and I would get punished for it. The sudden death's going to come up. Nosfer taking so much damage right at the start. That is not how you want to start a sudden death. Zen coming through, trying to push the issue here. Nosfer getting down to to basically nothing. He's railable. Oh, the balls to drop down and hit that shot while you're railable in a sudden death. I love it. I love it. But he knows that he can't just roll over after that, right? He has to uh, He has to keep the pressure on Zen. He has to stop Zen getting too stacked, too comfortable. Otherwise, Zen will just push in and, and Nosfer will lose. Um, Zen, you know, can afford to take a fight that leaves him weak as long as he gets the frag, because once he gets this frag, it's game over. Or if he gets this frag. It feels like Zen is going to win this map, okay? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But that said, just as quickly as you say it, and this is the power of um, the lower stacks in Quake Champions, right? It, all it takes is one tiny little moment like that, and, and all of the control you've built up has evaporated. This Mega's going to come up for Nosfer. It goes for the drop-down rail. Really tight angles here. Unfortunately, just like, you know, kind of graces Zeniku's ankle. It graces his Achilles, but not enough to actually register a shot. Nice drop down there for Nosfer. I like that he drops down, you know, as far forward as possible. Um, and a really nice use of the drone. Again, it just kind of slows Nosfer down, right? It gives Zen uh, more time to when he rushes across to this Mega. Or it gives him less time, I guess, for Nosfer to, to push in, right? It gives him more of an opportunity towards this Mega. Uh, just do a small thing to waste your opponent's time at a, at a weird spot. And then rush to an item, right? It, I love it. I love it. The exchange of shots onto the heavy goes better for Zen. Zen picking up the item. Mega gonna be coming up shortly. Nosfer's in position, but he eats a bad rail. Surely Zen pushes in here. Oh. Okay, that rail to orb combo for Nosfer is so critical there. Again, you know, if you don't do that, I think Zen's gonna push you off of the Mega or kill you there. And and then you basically lost the game anyway. So Nosfer clutching hard when it counts. Again, this annoying drone comes out, right? And once you've fired the rail shot there, Zen has a small window where he can drop on you, where either you're stuck reloading the rail or you're, like, swapping guns. Um, it's, ju it's just really, really awesome drone play. Good control of the orb there. Nosfer, you know, he... he I don't want to say he has to do it, but it does kind of feel like he has to hold on to this Mega right now, otherwise uh, the game will slip away from him. Heavy up in a second again, Nosfer looking for these opening rails across the map, but he's just not able to find them. Zen, you know, waits 
uh, until the last moments to drop down into that heavy. He gives Nosfer the fewest angles possible. He's he's just really strong arming his stack advantage here. Nosfer taking shot after shot, finally bullied off of this mega by Zen. Zen uh, tanking himself up. Is this going to be it? Using the drone rather than coming through the teleporter, that drone comes in bloody fast. Important shot for Nosfer to hit. Nosfer tries to get the armor and get out, but he's unable to do it. Zeniku, the man, I believe he takes this set down 2-0. Uh, I love it, right? Super nice play. Look at these guys. Absolute bros. Um, but yeah, super good play. Super nice movement from both players. Um, Nosfer did a great job of playing out of control. I really respect it. I think he picked smart times to cross the map. You could see how hard Zen had to push to try and catch him when he was crossing across the map. Uh, they kept it close, they kept it tight. You know, Zen had a lot of really great time where he got to flex in control, and Nosfer did amazingly well to stay out of his way, to stay out of sight, to find the right times, and then to just make these, you know, almost miracle rocket to rail connections, or just, you know, hitting rails where he really needed to, to either keep Zen at bay and keep himself on items, or to actually flip things around into frags. Um, nice play from both players, I'm really impressed by both of these guys, and I'm keen to see where they both go in this tournament. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. First video like this I've done in a while, so uh, please let me know how I'm doing, you know, am I back in form? Uh, <laughs> Oh, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'd rather not know. Uh, but I'm going to do more of these. I'm going to try and go through this whole event. So thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Tom, and I'll catch you next time.